Hey friends, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and welcome back to my channel. Today we're crocheting the Half Moon Washcloth, a beginner friendly pattern that's perfect for gifting or sprucing up your bathroom decor. If you're excited to make the Half Moon Washcloth, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my free patterns, product reviews, or technique videos. To make our washcloths, we'll need only a few supplies. First is worsted weight cotton yarn. I like Lion Brand 24-7 cotton for washcloths because it's a great exfoliator and the mercerized cotton doesn't take on too much water. You'll also need a 4.5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. Make sure you have your blocking supplies handy because we will be lightly blocking our washcloths at the end. To start, make a slip knot and place that on your hook. And then chain any multiple of three. For my washcloth, I did 33. Yarn over, pull up a loop. There's one chain. Here's two, three. And continue until you have 33 or your preferred number. Once your chain is complete, we'll find the second chain from the hook and place a single crochet in that second chain. We're gonna skip the next chain and in the following chain, place three single crochet. Here's one, here's two, and three. Skip the next two chains, and in the following chain, three single crochets. One, two, and three. We're gonna repeat that down the line, so skip the next two chains three single crochet in the following chain. And we're gonna do that until we have only two chains left in our row. Meet me when you get to the end of your row. Now we're at our last two chains. We're gonna skip the next chain and in the last chain place a single crochet. And that completes row one and it should look something like this. Let's move on to row two. To begin row two, we'll chain one and turn our work. We'll single crochet in the single crochet at the base of our chain, which is right here. Next, we have a three single crochet group. We'll want to find the second of those three single crochets. If we look at the top, we can count the Vs as well, just to make sure we're going in the right stitch Make sure you've got that second single crochet and place three single crochets there. There's one, two, and three. We're gonna skip the next two stitches, one and two. In the following stitch, we'll place three single crochet. If you need to, look at the top so you can count your Vs, skipping one and two, three single crochet in the following stitch. Here's one two, and three. Skip two single crochet, three single crochet in the following stitch. One, two, and three. And continue that down the line until you have two single crochet remaining. Join me there and we'll finish up row two together. So I'm working my last three single crochet group. I have two stitches left. I'm gonna skip this next stitch and in the last stitch place a single crochet. And that completes row two. You can see that beautiful textured pattern already coming through. We'll begin row three together, but ultimately the rest of this cloth is just a repeat of row two. So chain one and turn your work single crochet in this first stitch, right here at the base of the chain. We'll skip the next stitch and three single crochet in the following stitch. Here's one, two, and three. Skip the next two stitches, one and two, in the following stitch, three single crochet. There's one, two, and three. Skip two, three single crochet in the following stitch. Repeat that until you have two stitches left in your row. I'm finishing up my last three single crochets, two stitches left, 
skip one single crochet in the last stitch. For the remainder of your washcloth, repeat row two until it measures seven and a half inches. For me, that took 25 total rows. Now let's talk counting your rows for a moment because with such a textured pattern, it could be a little tricky to read your stitches. When counting my rows, I look for the single crochets on the edges. They create a little hole. So here's one row, two rows, and three rows so far. Keep stitching and meet me when you're done with your row two repeats. I'm on the last row of my washcloth, and as you can see, I got a little creative with the color changes. Since I worked to 25 rows, I just did five rows of each color. Let's finish up this row, then we can add our loop. To add the loop, start with a chain eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then turn your work and slip stitch in the single crochet at the base of your chains. Then you can fasten off and weave in all of your ends and then we'll block. At this point, our washcloth is complete and you can go ahead and use it, but if you're planning to gift it, I recommend blocking. It'll help to soften up these edges that are curling in on themselves. So we're gonna steam block our washcloth. Grab a blocking board and start pinning your washcloth to the blocking board with rust-proof T-pins. Now my blocking boards have one inch markers on them, so it's really easy for me to make sure that all of my edges are even. When I'm blocking, I'm trying my best not to pull or stretch the fabric, but just to lay it out flat. So that's why I do my corners first. I'm counting here to make sure that my washcloth is the correct size on each edge. While pinning my washcloth, I was preheating my handheld garment steamer, and now that it's hot, I can go around all of the edges and the center of the fabric of my washcloth. This is what's going to allow the stitches to relax into an even square shape. So you can see the steam coming up into the camera. That means that the steam is working and I'm just applying it evenly over my washcloth. There's no hard and fast rule of how long to steam it for or how long even to let it dry. You steam it until it feels damp to the touch and then you let it dry completely until it feels dry to the touch. Once your washcloth is dry, remove the pins and what you'll notice is that the corners no longer fold in on themselves and the fabric of the washcloth itself is very flexible. Now your half moon washcloth is all done and ready for use or gifting. Before we go, let's give some love to our cup of caffeine sponsor. And today that's Charlotte Carberry. When offering her donation, Charlotte simply said, thank you, Tony. And thank you, Charlotte. Your gift is gonna keep me alert and stitching all night long. Now, if you like my videos and wanna support my channel, buy me a coffee. Who knows, I might shout you out in one of my videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.